nook and tonight we are doing adult mad libs this is an adult channel it is not suited for anybody under the age of 18 we have adult coloring on here adult planners we do adult diamond painting i do i will be starting cross stitching again just a little bit of everything that goes on in my life so, also another disclaimer, I have five cats and a dog. You will sometimes hear and see the cats, and you will sometimes hear the dog bark. Nothing I can do about that. So, I um, will get some people in. I will go tell everybody in my, in my Facebook group that I am live. Get some of you in here. Hi Jody. How are you? So I'm gonna let everybody in my group. Hi Robin. How are you? Are you feeling better? Hold on. I'm going to let everybody in my group know that I am live, and it looks like it's not going to let me post to the group. Hmm, wonder what's up with that. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So I let the group know that I am live. And who else is here? Hi, Joey. You're still not feeling better? I'm doing okay. I'm hoping I'm done running to the bathroom. I overate. Daenerys, go on. I overate to dinner and it's, hold on a second. Going nuts. I'm trying to do a live stream. Out! If you're gonna run around and act like that, sorry. <clears throat> so today is PJ Day. I had my hair all in a messy bun. Got laundry going and was cross stitching all day. <laughs> we'll let a few more people come in before we start Mad Libs. I really don't have any happy mail. I have one. One piece of happy mail. Hold on, I'll grab it. So, this is the only thing I got of happy mail this week the new color in heaven dark fantasy special so it's exclusive melancholy designs from Enos Guerrero Guerrero so I haven't looked at it yet I just did a like a skim but I haven't really looked at it so you need that <laughs> yeah to be fun. Well, let me turn the sound off on my phone. Okay, sound off on my phone. So what did everybody do today? I've been, like I said, I have been cross-stitching. I cross-stitched all day today, did some laundry, Watched cross stitch videos was awesome. I am so much enjoying cross stitching again. So I think um, my first cross stitch video of 2020 is just going to show you all my whips and UFOs. UFOs are 
um, unfinished objects. So they are something that you put away a long time ago and you haven't touched it. So we don't really call it a whip unless you're actually working on it. So I will be showing them. There's probably like 25. Hi, Selena. How are you? So I will show those in my first video and what I am working on. And then for the second video of the year will be how to um, I was gonna say Robin you already said hi to me <laughs> I'm good um, so yeah I'm gonna try to do a tutorial on how to cross stitch so that won't that will be the second video of the year I'm only doing one video a week and then after that they should be just um, whip and chats cross stitch whip and chats it's okay, Robin. <laughs> yeah, they call them UFOs. They're unfinished objects. So that's what they call them in the cross-stitch world. So I have a lot of them. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I did. I just, I had a blast today. All weekend. Actually, I've been cross stitching since Thursday. So I finished a whole section and started another section on the piece I'm working on. And yeah, I'm glad I had the eye surgery and that it made it so much easier to cross stitch again. So yeah, back at it. So again, my channel has a little bit of everything that I do. I don't need my hands washed. Pearl, stop. Uh, so we'll wait a few more minutes for people to come in to do Mad Libs. So yesterday, last night was my wine and diamond painting. So after I'm done with this stream, I will be diamond painting again tonight. Because I like to do that before I go to bed. My cross stitch is put away. Um, I will, I plan on cross stitching on Thursday nights. Thursday nights I don't do live streams. You read in the 4th. JD. Oh, the fourth for the week. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm getting back into my JD Rob books too next year. So, and my planners, I'm only using this year's planners through Tuesday, and then I'm starting my new planners on Wednesday. So, yeah, that'll be fun. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to read for a month as well, Robin, until I get caught up. Cuz I'm behind on them. What number are you on? Are you further behind than me? Cuz I can't remember what number I'm on. It still might be. I don't this all day today it's been very dreary, gray out and raining been raining almost all day making me tired and I slept till 10 o'clock I've been sleeping till 10 o'clock in the morning I don't sleep that late but I have been these sinuses have just like just drained me and making me tired so I haven't I didn't need a nap today you're reading number 14 um, I can't remember what number I left off at, and where is that? I'm on number, let's see, J.D. Rob. Oh, I will be starting at number 35, so I'm further ahead of you. And I have one, two, three, four, five. Six. 
I have nine more Leslie Myers to read. Actually, because there's omnibuses too. So, yeah. Yep, I'm hoping to get them caught up. So, I'm reading J.D. Robb now. And then I'm going to switch probably to Leslie Meyer. Hers are very quick to read. But I'm hoping to read one J.D. Robb a week. Hi, Mona. How are you? I think that's how I have it scheduled, is one J.D. Robb a week. So, yep. My reading, my coloring. So, I need to set up my planner for um, January. I am really good, thank you. How are you? You're well. Good. That's good. I'm glad everybody's doing well. I know Laura's been really sick, so she probably won't be doing her diamond painting live stream tonight. I have not talked to her today. But yeah, been pretty good weekend. Yesterday was with my with my dad's side. Um, I don't know, Robin. How did you get yours? Do you have yours on your Kindle? Did you borrow yours from the library? Audible. How do you have yours? Depends. If you have them on your Kindle or on Audible... I'll borrow yours. Otherwise, it'll go through my library or your library or for Sean's library. <laughs> Most of the time, my library doesn't have them as an ebook. Well, yeah, they sometimes do. I don't know. You're going to be getting freezing rain? Ew, crap. Oh, okay, Robin. I. Do I have your Scribd account? Hi, Nick and Tina. I thought about getting Scribd again because I had it for a while. But if the library doesn't have it as, as an audio or an ebook, I might just borrow it from the library. Starting tonight until Tuesday morning. Ew, where do you live, Mona? I don't know about my weather. I haven't looked. Oh, okay. So, my weather says... Right now, it is... Thirty-eight degrees and rain. Tomorrow a high of fifty-three with rain. Oh, you're in upstate New York, so you're not too far from me probably. But we're not getting freezing rain. Tomorrow's a high of fifty-three with rain. Tuesday thirty-eight snow showers. Wednesday, 32, chance of snow showers, 46, sunny. So, yeah, we're not getting that. Northern New York near Canadian border. Oh, okay. Okay. I've been up in northern New York. I've been to the Thousand Islands. I've been to Old Forge and Lake George. And um, the North Pole with Santa Claus's village. I've been there long, 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 long time ago. Many in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're near Lake Placid. Okay. 
Yep, you are about six hours from me. It's beautiful up there. I loved it up at Lake George. Absolutely loved it. Yeah, they're about an hour away. Yep. <laughs> well, tell Milo that you're busy. Are we go are we all ready now for Mad Libs? This is called Convention Time. All we're working out of is this Super Size Mad Libs book because we used up all my other ones. And so I put my Christmas one away, the Thanksgiving one, and the Halloween one. They're put away for next year. Oh, Lake George is three hours away. Oh, okay. I, I love Lake George. So this one's called Convention Time. So I do need my glasses for this, but I can't use them for, I can't see, I can't read online with them. I need some nouns, some nouns. My hair's like crappy today. <coughs> it's clean, but Sundays are my lazy days. I stay in my PJs all day. I had my hair all up in a messy clip. Hill. Need a few more. Hi, Charisma. Hi, Elizabeth. Okay. Hope your headache goes away. Okay. Now I need adjectives. Adjectives. I need lotion on my hands. Now, adjective is how you describe something. Adjective is describing. <laughs> okay, type of food. Type of food. A uh, number. A number. Person in chat. The skin is just peeling. It's all cracked and gotta get lotion on it.
and a place. I need a place. I don't know where my lotion is. Um, article of clothing. Article of clothing. And a verb. A verb. <laughs> Charisma. <laughs> okay. This is called convention time. Welcome to GamerCon 5000. We are excited to have you. Please check your pizza for a list of cute items you may bring inside the book. Corn are strictly prohibited. Gaming centers will be set up in 11 locations and attendees will be divided up by character. If you are dressed as Joey from River, please check in at Disney. If you are wearing a bra, you will be denied entry unless accompanied by your hill. Attendees, attendees looking to play Star Run in the Sour Kipper should register online. No one dressed as candy will be allowed in the bathrooms for any reason. <laughs> Please bring extra sandboxes and remember to have a tree. <laughs> Nobody dressed like candy or you can't go in the bathrooms. <laughs> and if you're wearing a bra, you will be denied entry. <laughs> that one was good. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think these are almost used up too. <clears throat> yep. It looks like I'm going to have to do some shopping for Mad Libs. These are like almost gone. We don't have hardly anything for tonight either. <laughs> Must wear a bra. No puppy dog ears allowed. Ears. <laughs> oh boy. This one's called Cats in Books. So I need some adjectives. <laughs> that one was good. Hoping uh, we have some more people make one up. I'm not good at that. I can get them online. Hi, Aussie girl. We do Mad Libs on Sunday nights. And any words are welcomed. It does not matter because this channel is over 18. <laughs> Okay, a uh, verbs. I need some verbs. Oh, uh, looks like I only need one verb. Hi, Joanna. <laughs> verb. Okay. Let's see what else I need. Okay, 
male person in chat. Well, I think Nick's the only one that's here. So, we'll put Nick in. And then we'll put in Kenneth, because he is usually here. And I need that, too. So, they want male. Let's go with, we need some part of the bodies. Part of the body. And Pearl looks like she's reading this. <laughs> Okay, now I need a place, a place. She's falling asleep sitting up. <laughs> She's purring away. Hey, what you doing? What you doing, little girl? And noun. I need two nouns. Two nouns. Hi, Lori. Okay, this one is called Cats in Books. Test your knowledge about cats who have made their sweet mark in literature. The cat who seems to be strong and can't stop jumping at Alice, the Cheshire cat. The funny cat in Nick King's horror classic, Church. The cat with a squished finger who belongs to Kenneth Potter's best friend is Crookshanks. The mall cat who is the best friend of the brave cockroach Archie is Mehitable. A mysterious, pretty, and small black cat capable of performing sisters of magic and sleight of brains is Mr. Mistopheles. The story of a very hot kitten who struggles to keep his stars clean and tidy is Tom Kitten. And a calico tale about a cat who wins the elbow of a princess in marriage is Puss in Boots. <laughs> okay. Actually, I don't need that anymore. Now let's go on to how to ride a unicorn. Okay, so I need some nouns. Need some nouns. That's it. Okay, I need an adverb. So, an adverb is, let's find this. An adverb tells how something is done. It modifies a verb and usually ends in L-Y, like carefully, greedily, stupidly, modestly. Those are all adverbs. Happily. Happily. 
okay and do, 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 do. okay verbs now I need some verbs verb is an action word Okay, adjectives, adjectives describe. <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth Adams. Okay, type of food, type of food. A part of the body, part of the body. <laughs> that was good, Chubby. <laughs> oh. A silly word. A silly word. Yeah, I know, Jody. And a type of liquid. Type of liquid. <laughs> Wine. Okay, this is called How to Ride a Unicorn. These are the list of do's. Unicorns don't have glitter belts, so it's important to hold on happily at all times. Because they can run your mind, it's crucial to think only gross thoughts while riding a uni egg. If touching a unicorn's weird horn becomes necessary, be sure to warm up your ears first. They are quite sensitive to changes in crayon. These are the don'ts. Don't say yeehaw or frumptious. The unicorn will think you're coloring fun of it. Never stand butt to butt with a unicorn for too long, for sour reasons. And whatever you do, never ever play unicorn wine. It is deadly to the touch and will swing you for sure. Happy riding! <laughs> Hi, Nikki. How are you? <clears throat> Hi, Nikki. <laughs> Anybody else come in while I was reading? <laughs> yeah, right, Jody. Who's that dog part four? So I need some verbs. Need some verbs. Uh. 
Oh my gosh, I need to stop yawning. Some verbs. No, pretty is an adjective. Verb is an action word. Okay, sing. Okay, now I need color, a color. Oh my gosh, I stopped the freaking yawning. I think that's it. Okay. Nouns. I need a few nouns. A noun is a thing. An object. I'm okay, Nikki. I don't know why I'm yawning. <laughs> I always yawn when I do videos or live stream. I don't know why. I think because I'm nice and relaxed. <laughs> Have a long piece of dark hair it's got to come from pearl okay <clears throat> Okay, part of the body. Part of the body. A place, a place. A number, a number. And a couple of adjectives, adjective describes describes something my skin is like really super dry <clears throat> adjectives Oh, 
Well, I don't know why not, Joey. You can, a number is a number. Okay, before I read this, I'm putting some lotion on my hands because they are like super dry. Driving me nuts. At least, well, I guess not. I don't see my... What the hell? Where'd it go? I keep it in here and it's not there. Well, I was going to put lotion on, but it's not... There it is. It didn't get put back. <laughs> I'm still here. Just hold on. <laughs> now I'm sideways. There. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I knocked over the tripod. Yeah, my hands are so dry, they're, they look horrible. <laughs> my cuticles are like cracked. And then I'll sit there and pick at them, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> Hi, Jeannie. <laughs> yeah well I do too I have it I just couldn't find it it's supposed to be I have a little box here that's supposed to have like my emery board in there and for my nails and this was in it I don't know why it wasn't unless it won't close but it should close it doesn't matter there it's in there now <laughs> I just couldn't find it. <laughs> okay, this one's called Who's That Dog? A final few furry dog breeds for you to love and sing. A collie. The brown and flamingo pink collie is a friendly family ball known for its grace and elegance when jumping. Dalmatian. This black and white book is the only dog breed with spots on its brain. They have lots of energy and need to swing a lot. A Pembroke Welsh Corgi. The Corgi is known for its very short throats and stout body. The Queen of the Florida owns 13 Corgis. A Miniature Schnauzer. The miniature schnauzer may be small, but it is a happy guard dog and will swim at the sign of any pretty intruder. St. Bernard. The St. Bernard was originally used to hunt for pencils during snowstorms on the beach. They are very gentle and merry. Oh my, that one was done. <clears throat> yep. This one's called Detention Duties. So, I need some verbs. I need some verbs. You would get detention. <laughs> okay. Adjectives. Adjectives describe.
Nouns. I need some nouns. An adverb. <clears throat> I need a couple adverbs. Adverbs. Um, type of liquid, type of liquid. A male celebrity, a male celebrity. An exclamation, exclamation. And a part of the body. Part of the body. Okay, this is called detention duties. <clears throat> At our school, detentions don't involve licking in a classroom for an hour. Instead, the principal makes us drink around the school. First, we head to the cafeteria and help the wet lunch ladies clean up. We have to sweep the hats and scrape crusty, warm tater tots and cheesy, hair-topped pizza off the tabletops. It's slowly nasty. Next, we go to every slimy classroom and empty the waste dogs. Then we fill buckets with pee and wipe down the chalk ropes until they are quickly clean. But the worst job of all is mopping up the spit, sweat, and blood in the locker rooms. If our gym teacher, Jamie Dornan, is there, he makes us go through the lockers and remove all the stinky gym hearts and mossy underpants crammed in there. Yikes! The smell alone makes me sick to my leg. <laughs> Ew, I don't want detention. <laughs> that was gross. These are all done too? No. <laughs> yes, I know you would, Nikki. <laughs> Ew.
<laughs> mossy underpants. Yep, mossy underpants. Gross. <laughs> I think the animals need to get me some more water. Oh, <laughs> that one was good. That was good. This one's called Dressing Your Cat. So, I need a couple adjectives. I don't know who thinks these up. Charisma's husband's listening. <laughs> Adjective. He's laughing. Hi, Melody. How are you? Okay, some nouns. I need a few nouns. A few nouns. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Bike. I need part of the body. Part of the body. An animal, an animal. Pig, okay. Male person in chat. Hi, Angela. How are you? Who else have I missed? Um, let's see, a color, a color. Occupation, an occupation. Oh, my gosh. An article of clothing. Article of clothing. A 
and an adverb an adverb see now you guys are coming up with different things <laughs> Adverb. Okay, this is dressing your cat. Your cat can help you celebrate your favorite holidays throughout the year. All you need to do is dress it up as a stinky fun bike. With a pair of fuzzy big toes, your cat can be transformed into the Easter pig. Or be mossy and turn your cat into Uncle Nick with a little red, white, and pink suit. And there are a lot of bags for your cat to wear on Halloween. You can dress your cat as a police officer in a pink tutu, a prehistoric button with spikes down its back, or a superhero like Towel Man with a black cape and matching skirt. And, of course, any cat can be turned into Santa Claus with a wet red suit and a cute matching cupboard. Just make sure you choose slowly. You don't want to get on your cat's slobbery side. <laughs> it's a pink, it's a police officer in a pink tutu. Or a superhero with a black cape and a matching skirt. <laughs> <laughs> These are good too. <laughs> so I don't know, is this pronounced a centaur or a cantor? I think it's centaur. C E N T A U R. Centaur. This is Centaur Wrestling. <clears throat> now I am out of water. Miss Pearl, go get me some more water. Yes, I did, Tina. Thank you. <laughs> it's a kinky superhero. <laughs> oh, it is Centaur. Okay. Centaur. Okay, I need some adjectives. Oh my gosh, here I go with the yawning again. That was the only adjective I needed was one. Okay, I need color. Color. I need a couple colors. <laughs> yeah, we always have fun in here, Angela, with the Mad Libs. Yellow, magenta. This is what we do on Sunday nights to, to relieve and have a good time before people that work go back to work on the Monday. Okay, I need a silly word. A silly word. This is your first time. Silly word. An animal. An animal. Okay, a verb, 
I need a couple verbs. Verb. I need some nouns, some nouns. A uh, male celebrity, a male celebrity. An occupation, an occupation. <laughs> I like that Santa one. Part of the body, part of the body. And a number, a number. Okay, Centaur Wrestling. The crowd goes nutty as the Yellow Wiz and Bazooka Joe enter the ring. Each of these twin centaurs is half Appaloosa bear and half man. They are favored to think tonight at the match in Turkey City. Entering the ring behind them is Brian Adams' dream duo, the Magenta Stallions. The crowd makes sleeping sounds at the hated visiting team. Following the sound of a paper shot, all four heavyweight flowers gallop against one another. The stallions have arms like human truck drivers, which they use to put both their opponents in instant knee locks. The referee counts all the way to 13 before the Wiz and Joe break free. Against all airplanes, the hometown heroes manage to dominate the stallions, mounting them to the mat for the full count. The referee calls it, the stallions have lost. The supermarket goes wild. <laughs> yep. Heavyweight flowers. 
<laughs> we can do a couple more. I'm only going to stay on for like another 15 minutes. I'm going to have some tea and watch some videos. Maybe. I don't think Laurel will be live streaming, so I do want to watch some live streams. <laughs> yep, Brian Adams wrestling. You want to wrestle with him, Nikki? <laughs> I don't even know what he looks like anymore. This one is Charisma would wrestle with him. <laughs> Famous Fido's Scooby Doo. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Okay, I need some nouns. Yes, Tina, I am. Um, Catherine will be here Friday, so she will be with me live. I wasn't going to, but it's the first Friday of the month, and I got to tell what the color lawns are. So, yes, I'll be on Friday. <clears throat> Some nouns. Female person in chat. Female person in chat. Hi, Kim. How are you? Male person in chat. Well, I guess that would be Nick. Kenneth didn't show up. Um, adjectives. Adjectives. I'm doing better, Kim. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> silly word silly word Okay, famous Fido's Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo is the star of the animated television Chocolate Scooby Doo, Where Are You? Scooby Doo, also known as Scooby, is a talking puppy who solves mysteries along with four teenagers named Shaggy, Daphne, Mona, and Nick. Scooby Doo, a great truck, belongs to his plump friend Shaggy. Much like Shaggy, Scooby is scared of bread and is always hungry for cookies called Scooby Bikes. Luckily, the prospect of eating Scooby Bikes and keeping his friends safe from boogers helps Scooby to be brave and stand up to scary spiders. 
Scooby and his friends always solve the hairy mystery, and Scooby always ends each episode by saying, Zoinks, dooby doo. <laughs> Zoinks, dooby doo. <laughs> okay, this is the last one. I need to get some tea and wake up. I need caffeine. Oh my gosh, it's only going on 7.30 here. Christ's sake, I don't need to go to bed yet. <clears throat> This one's called Your Mother and I Met in Detention. So I need some nouns. Some nouns. <laughs> okay, Angela, thank you so much. Angela, do you have a channel? Nope, I just looked. <laughs> okay, plural noun, bathtubs. Porch. Noun, teacher. Noun, goalkeeper. Okay, person in chat, female. Female person in chat. Adjective. Adjective. A uh, verb. Oh, I didn't see the adjective. Verb. 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 Verb is an action word. There you go. Um, part of the body. Part of the body.
adverb adverb Not an adjective, an adverb. And male person in chat would be Nick. Okay, your mother and I met in detention. I was going through some of my parents' old school bathtubs when I came across this long letter from my dad proclaiming his love for my porch, whom he met in detention of all places. To the teacher of my dreams, Kim, my horrible world turned upside down the day you jumped in detention with me. I had never seen a prettier daddy before. When you sat there with your nostrils folded so daintily on the desk, I remember thinking, this is one classy goalkeeper. She's not like the other monsters. And that's when I knew I had to get your attention. Looking back, perhaps folding a paper colorist ball and flicking it at your leg was not the way to go. Please understand, I was kindly nervous. I mean, it's not every day that you meet the person you want to grow droopy with. Truly, madly, lovingly in love with you, Nick. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> That's the last one, you guys. I actually did this without coughing. I was afraid I would get coughing again like I have been. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I know I'm only doing it till an hour and a half today, but we did quite a few of them, and this book is almost done, too. So I definitely have to go get some new Mad Libs. Because we are running out. I uh, will have to see if I can find some online. You're welcome, Nikki. Thank you guys for coming in and supporting the channel. You guys are the best. All my peepers, you're all the best. <laughs> Love you too, Tina. <laughs> Love you guys. Um, I won't be streaming again until Friday. So I will try to put up a cross-stitch video on Thursday. And all that's going to be is everything that I have already started. All my whips and UFOs. So um, that's what I will be doing. And then next week will be a video teaching you how to cross-stitch. So good night everybody. You all have a happy New Year's. If you're going out partying, don't drink and drive. Please, always have a designated driver. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.